Hello, welcome to the very first uh, replay for Warplane Wednesday. And today what I have for you is the Tomahawk 2B. This is a Chinese Tier 5 Premium, although I wish you could stick an American pilot in this. This is obviously the plane that the Flying Tigers had used. It's even got the Flying Tiger logo on the side there, which was made by Walt Disney. Um, one nice little detail I like is the Japanese flags or on the uh, side there. That's the what's used for plane markers. Um, I, if I recall, and I wasn't wild about this because this is obviously the Tomahawk 2B. I actually had to pay for the camo and the shark mount. Um, it would have been nice if the plane would have came stock like this. Um, and it's it's only got, it's like I said, it's only used by Chi a Chinese pilot, which is eh, whatever, you know. I got this plane pretty early. I do like this plane, although it's just like any other, it's just like any other P-40. Actually, it's exactly like the regular P-40 that the American tech tree has, except for in firepower. Um, the big difference is the nose-mounted guns are 50 caliber, and the two wing-mounted guns is 30 caliber. Um, so let's start this replay, see how this turns out. Now this is a Tier 5 match. It's all Tier 5. Um, this isn't a bad plane. It's its price tag is six. It's 1620 credits, or sorry, not credits, gold. Uh, China doesn't right now. You are approaching the front Doesn't line. have actual non-premium planes. All they have are premium, and this is one of them. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say this plane is really worth it because China plane, Chinese planes are mostly only premium. Um, this isn't really as good as the P40, especially in the realm of firepower. But I still like this plane, and it's got a lot of historical value to it, being that it's the plane that the Flying Tigers used. Um, you know, it was it, for a while there, it was the arch nemesis. Heavy. Got my wing clipped. And then shot down. You know, that's getting a little old. The bot's constantly ramming. I actually have a replay from earlier where I got ran four times by bots so yeah fun times there um so the, the the plane in the realm of firepower it's it's not the best but it's just it's just the historical value as you said um between american fighter pilot tactics and well, a lot of the planes that they were facing against that the Japanese had were not very good planes. Quite a few of them were outdated. Um, I know one of the planes they faced was the Oscar, or was designated Oscar anyway. I can't remember what the other one was off the top of my head, but basically it was a biplane. Um, however, at, at the time, those planes were really good enough for the Japanese to use against the Chinese because they really didn't have much of an air. So we're going to take out the boomerang quick. Coming back with the vengeance, taking some fire. Still trying to get a good beat on that boomerang. I left him go, let an ally kill him, shoot that boomerang. Zoom in this one. And I couldn't 
quite get that kill. Gonna try to shoot that MIG, get a couple shots of the MIG. Staying on this MIG. Gonna keep working them down. All right, took him out. Got another fighter here. Spitfire, got to take him out. There we go, fighter grade five. There we go, heavy fighter. Gonna work on chopping him up. Take him out, get the capture. Okay, got an enemy fighter behind us. Gonna turn on him. Trying to turn on him, got some shots. And that's another P40. Staying on him, staying on him, took his tail, grabbed that kill. So there you go. Pretty hot and hairy there, huh? So, um, yeah, but the Flying Tigers, they have quite a bit of history. They were an American volunteer group, although in all honesty, they were mercenaries. They were drafted from the Air Force. They were drafted from the Navy and the, the Marine Corps. Um, they have quite a few pilot, famous pilots and aces. Um, so definitely look more into that. I, I remember one of the pilots' nicknames was Tex. But another one of the pilots, uh, probably one of the most more famous pilots is uh, Greg Boynton, who's also known as Pappy Boynton. Uh, and he was obviously the CO for uh, Black Sheep Squadron. Take the viewfighter down. I'm getting shot at though. Focusing on that viewfighter. Got a flying warrior badge. Got a fighter grade four and just got two target focused. That's all right. A heavy fighter kill for a light fighter death. Um, yeah, I think it was really worth it. So now we're gonna wait to get the respawn. Um, so yeah, definitely, definitely look up the Flying Tigers history. And this actually does kind of remind me of a later year Flying Tiger. Um, after, after America had actually got involved in the war, well, got a multi-roll to close in on them. And get clipped by him too, because constantly getting rammed anymore. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, the I want to climb some altitude to get these bombers. Um, but yeah, the Flying Tigers is a pretty rich history. After after America gets involved in the war with Japan. Um, Some of, some of the American pilots leave the Flying Tiger and return to service. Boynton uh, so happy to be one of them. There's a few others who joined the Navy, went back to the list of the Navy or the Air Force. Um, took out that bomber, gonna zoom on this bomber. Take that bomber down, grab that capture. So now we definitely have the advantage here. Take out that fighter. Nope, not quite. That's that MiG-3 again. We am gonna take out that MiG-3 finally. Um, one of the pilots that actually had stuck around for the Flying Tigers uh, Tex, he was actually, he became an ace, um, 
It changed from actually being a volunteer group to an assigned group. And essentially they were fighter pilots and advisors. Um, Way to go. They got this F4. Um, and there was quite a few, quite a few Chinese pilots that actually flew with the Flying Tigers after the fact. So there you go. Got a Flying Warrior badge, 11 kills, 2 assists, 3 captures, which racked up to nice, nice 400 capture points. Ranked 1 in the battle group. And easily scored the highest in combat points. Um... That's actually a pretty good game for that plane. That plane is not an extremely strong plane when it comes to its firepower. And I would say, when, especially when it comes to a fighter, its firepower matters. There's so many planes at Tier 5 that really outmatch this plane's firepower. Let alone, there's also a lot of planes that outmaneuver it. And there's a lot of planes that can outpace it. Um, I like the plane, though. It's fun. And like I said, it's got historical value behind it. So, I hope you enjoyed this first Wednesday Warplanes. And I'll see you next time.